All right, so here's what I got. I got us a new clutch. I got the, the flywheel planed or machined and got it all true, so it's all good. Here's our new uh, throwout bearing fork. This is the new one. This is the old one. This is the one that we busted and have no idea how we di did it. I also got a new shaft, new sleeves, and also new sleeves for this side. I'm gonna re reuse the original shaft on this side. Um, it's not as bad. Uh, this one has a little bit of wear in it, so we're gonna go ahead and replace it. Got us a new bearing. We should be good. And Crossroads was kind enough to give me a, an alignment tool to line all this up. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing installed. The sun is going down quick. So to speed things up, I'm just gonna stick it in there real quick. We gotta start with putting the flywheel on and then put the clutch assembly in it. And also with this uh, clutch assembly, it came with a new throwout bearing there. So I guess uh, probably not gonna record much because I really need to just get this done. Once I get the, the flywheel and clutch in there, wrestle this in there hannah's stepdad jim is coming over and he's going to help me uh set that up in there so i don't get smashed that baby is nothing to play with it is heavy all right the transmission is in this thing the clutch is in it we put new sleeves in it the whole nine yards this thing should be good to go i haven't tested it out yet because i'm waiting for hannah to have time to help me um we've been filming this thing monday and tuesday because that's the day she has off and um you know i got to continue on so it is Saturday. It's 62 degrees here in Indiana, so I'm taking advantage of this beautiful weather because here in the mornings, it's down to like 25 to 32-ish. So it's 60-some 60, 60 degrees, so I'm going to go with it. So while I'm waiting for her, I figure I'll go ahead and put the doghouse on this thing, but I kind of ran into a dilemma with the front fender. The driver's side fender needed, a, I guess let's just say, some modifications because the steering column was in the way, of course, and... The airline so this is a air brake air ride truck and as you can see these colorful lines that's our air ride well are the air lines the lines i had originally were on this side of this column that you're seeing here and they were rubbing the steering column so here's our airlines the airlines originally i came through here i do need to hook that up this is uh this is how the clutch fork got broke in the first place, I think, because I had this linkage knot on and we started it and I think it rotated and hit it. So there's that. So we won't, I got to put the nut on it, of course. But so the airlines originally came through here, but I decided to come through here because when they came through this area, it was real tight on the steering column and getting in the way of all this linkage. So by running it here, it looks nice and stuff, but the fender on this truck kind of rides in here well you can kind of see the issue that i'm having if the fender's here this package of airlines and wiring won't let the fender go up in it so what i simply did was i took a piece of four inch exhaust tubing cut it in half and grafted it to the bottom of the fender let me see if i can get this flipped up for you guys made me a pocket in the fender just like that nothing fancy welded it up sprayed some paint on it and that will allow the airlines to ride in this little pocket so there is that i did go ahead and i don't know if i've told you guys but uh got our a new little these are bump stops off a jeep i use them for our body mounts so rubber body pucks pretty much like a hockey puck i guess so i got uh the body bolted to there and then also going to the back the cab mounts were pretty crappy so i did the same thing in the back got some new cab mounts got it all welded down over here it's moving right along guys we are almost there i can probably remove this now because the cab no longer has to go up but without me talking guys let's go ahead and slap the front end on this thing we're wanting to drive it and i was kind of my plan was to drive it without the front end on it but since hannah's not here i don't want to drive it without her so i'm finding stuff i can do once the front end's on it maybe that'll that'll get me till about um I could probably do that tonight. That brings us to Monday and Tuesday. We can uh, go ahead and start moving this rear axle forward because we're only like three weeks away from headed to the Turkey Rod Run in Daytona Beach, Florida.
All right, so we got the fenders on that thing. And kind of the next step is we got to put the front bumper on it. A lot of people were asking, are we going to use the, the factory bumper? Or It's not even factory. Um, are we going to use the bumper that came with the welder rig? The answer is absolutely. All right, here is our front bumper and we got to take it off. So let's get up under here. Oh yeah, she's welded good. Real good. What is that? Oh, it's a piece of C channel. Yippee I yo. How are we doing this? Uh I don't know. So the bumper is cut off on this thing. I went ahead and cut it late last night and then finished it up this morning. Now, as you can see, the remaining of, I guess, uh, the angle iron. Is that not hot? No, I cut it earlier. Yeah, but you just cut something. Well, yeah, but it ain't hot enough to hurt me. So I guess now I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this up, take the remaining off of it, and then we'll be able to put it on her truck. So I guess let's uh, Yay. clean Yay! Now, are we going to have to put the front end on first and then put that on? Well, the bumper indicates where the grill goes because the grill goes, this is the grill's pilot hole. Mm. And then also this is where the bumper meets up right here. So we the really fenders? need to get the bumper off. What's that? The fenders or the bumper? Yeah, the fender. Okay. Well, you said bumper. Whatever. Well, I just, I, know. I mean, I'm trying to ask questions for <laughs> me and them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyways, we got to put the bumper on to locate the fenders. We gotta have the bumper also on to locate the grill, which locates the hood. And then, guess what? Then we can drive. Yeah. So let's uh, let's clean this up. Also, I am so excited. Uh, the restaurant is closed for a week, so that means Corey and I will have a whole week to work on this together. Uh, usually, we have two days, and you know we still get a lot done, but. To have a whole week of nothing to do except for work. So now we're going to see how we work together for a week. Yeah, but I am actually really excited because we get usually a lot done in the two days that we work. So anyways, here we are and I'm hoping I can drive this to work whenever we're open. Golly, well we better get going then. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> So we had our little niece over and she gave us, gave Hannah the cold. I've been staying away from everyone. Yeah, I'm like, do not come near me because this is miserable. I ain't even joking. I know a lot of you have worked like this. If you ain't, you're lying. <laughs> hey, uh, your sunglasses remind me something. What? Have you ever seen Ray Charles' house? <laughs> <laughs> so we have actually been on the phone with some of the family from this truck. I think we're the second owner. Is that what he said? Uh, well, if, I guess, yeah, we are, it's unless you like count Silas, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, but, so it's technically probably him, then Silas, then me, but, um, whatever. Yeah, but we're going with, we're, we're the going to go with the, we're the second. Yeah, owner. so, uh, I'm really excited. They did send pictures of it, like, working in the field and all that, and. We'll post we them right now. Yeah, we did get a lot of information from them and just the coolest stuff. So it was awesome to hear on the phone. 
how much do they love this truck and how much they used it. So. Yeah, we were getting all kinds of stories how they used it in like a blizzard or something and the rear end went out, so they welded it and yeah. then it got a different engine. And um, a real quick, uh, if you guys remember right, it had a bar go across here and a lot of you guys messaged me and said this was a mobile home mover. And I was like, no, it wasn't a mobile home mover. It was a welding truck. Yes, okay, we were both right but both wrong so it was a welding rig but they had like a 40 foot travel trailer that they hauled from job site to job site and that's why it had the rails up so yeah it it was technically a welding truck but i guess they did move their giant rv that's why it had the great big bar across there so without us rambling on let's continue on this thing I should locate it if we can put a couple bolts in it. I might put some 7 16 bolts in that. That'd really. Like big guys? Yeah. Yeah. Give her some more. She needs more of that. Look at her. She's a big girl. Now she's a big girl. So I know some of you are going to comment about her weight. And that's okay because here at Corey Weed Custom, we're used to that. Um, <laughs> but we're getting bigger bolts to put it in. It looks like it's lining up perfect. Um, it looks like it had some I'm excited. 3 8 bolts in it, and we're going to put some 7 16 in it. Just to beef her up. Beef it up, homie. That's what we need. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Thank you. No, wait. That fender ain't going to be holding us up, is it? No, it's resting on that. Okay. What the cool part is, if you guys remember right, we lowered everything down 3 inches. The cab and the fenders we lowered down three inches and it just so happens that the frame rail at the very end of it comes down three inches uh, I, I can't make this stuff up it sometimes these trucks just kind of it's almost like it was meant to be like so they want to be rebirth to rebirth. something cool it is a rebirth. i just imagine this ugly thing like ah, coming. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah yeah so what is it coming out of i don't know <laughs> The mother of <laughs> the mother truck. Uh huh. So, yeah, it, it lines up real good. Now this will locate the radiator, not radiator, the course or the grill, I guess. It's kind of confusing because the radiator originally was part of the grill where it's not now. So yeah, that's uh. That. Okay, friends, we're gonna take you along here. So as you remember, these are mounted from here perfect and where he had it on the frame guess what we can still weld it up right here to the uh, frame as well also another thing is there's a bracket on uh, well there's a bracket on the inside and I, I kind of thought we would just weld the bracket so the bumper is removable but now that I'm looking that bracket goes on way back as like a frame stiffener so let's just weld it, weld it. and mm -hmm. then we'll complain later when we need to take it off <laughs> yeah. and we'll moan and complain then. But check this out. So as you can see, the top of the frame rail is here. And if that comes on down, you're looking at your three inches there. So it worked out perfect. Otherwise, we would have had to notch the bumper and this way it, it's perfect. Yeah. I couldn't imagine a more beautiful thing. Can't even see ya. Okay. All right, so where we're at now, uh, we gotta figure out how to mount this. Clearly it's got these two bolts, studs, however you wanna say it. Uh, but as you can see, this one we cut off and this one's even worse shape. So we need to take care of that real quick. Once I get them out, it shouldn't be no big deal because this will lo locate it into the, the bumper. Just uh, trying to get that off there is going to be fun.
on there. You guys just seen that. And originally, where'd that? Oh, here they are. So originally these little pieces of rubber were in there. And as you can see, these are all wore out. So to keep the rattling down and stuff like that, cause right now it's uh, metal on metal. I'm going to put some rubber back in it. Not these, cause these are wore out. So I got an idea. We're going to go back to our uh, little junkyard and see if we can find some mud flaps. And we're going to try to cut the mud flaps off with these. So. These have killed many specimens. So um, let's hope they can kill mud flaps. In the junkyard. I see some mud flaps oh, right yeah, out of the gate. Good mud I guess see if you can cut like a little corner out of the... That one's probably thick enough, babe. Okay. Let her rip. You want a haircut? It'll cut. Well, hey, we look. we only need little sections. You don't have to. I don't. Whatever. Look, yeah, but look at the bottom of that. Just cut us off like. So I'm gonna yeah, cut okay. a square. Yeah, but you're way up higher yeah, than that. Yeah, I'm gonna cut a square. Let's cut all the way down through there, like the whole length. Weedy through here. <laughs> How do I get blamed for that? Because I said we can keep vehicles here, but you got you got to keep it nice around them. He said, I, I have, know. I have, baby. Look at all these weeds. You gonna cut that today or tomorrow? No. Let's see it. You cutting that today? I thought that was gonna be a lot harder. Harder? <laughs> Feel like I'm Amish mm -hmm. today too. What do you got going on? Trailing her up. Oh my gosh. I just got a fine center. Right there. Oh. Nope. <laughs> what? The bug? Mm hmm. Hooray! So now these. I gotta drill a hole in them, but it'll be. Oh. Very good. Close up and personal. Yay, Manny. Oh, it, you're the chosen one. <laughs> Slide that baby in here. I'll turn it around. She like that. And this guy will go here like that. Now we gotta run a bolt through it, and it should be good. But we're gonna go to lunch real quick because you guys know we're always hungry. So <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, so back from lunch, just went in, got a uh, bologna sandwich, but there you go. Got the, our piece of rubber that used to be a mud flap in there. Got us some bolts ran up through there and one on the other side there. So now the next step is, let's go ahead and put the hood on this thing. You ready for the hood? What'd you got now? Fudge. Fudge? Where'd you get I fudge? I have dessert. <sighs> Since the restaurant's closed for a week, we were allowed to take some fudge. Minnie, what do you think? Does she like fudge? Try it. Mmm, you're my fudge. <laughs> Corey was ready to put the hood on, but I reminded him, we probably need to clean up first. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, we got the grill, the front bumper, the hood, everything's looking good, but we are running into a problem. And the problem is, if this is shut, hold this down, homie. 
if we shut the hood down, a uh, mini. <laughs> um, so we put the hood down and kind of the problem is it's hitting here, which whatever. But if you look at the body line, the body line is kind of down. going downhill. And it has more of a gap here. Yeah, you can see the gap here. So what that tells me is everything here needs to come down. So in order to get that problem fixed, we need to lower the bumper because the bumper is holding up the grill. And fenders. Yeah, and, and fenders and everything like that. So I think what we're going to have to do is right down here. Luckily, we haven't welded anything. If I cut this out just like an inch and then let the bumper come down, it should let everything kind of relax. But to do that, I'm going to have to take everything off. So I think what I'm going to do is take the forklift and put it up underneath of the bumper, raise it up an inch, take pressure off the frame rails, take my grinder and cut it right there and then set everything back down. It's going to be a lot less work. And as you can see, the That's distance here, it is a lot of work, but it's gonna be way quicker. And you can see the distance here and here is way off. This fender, grab a hold of that back fender there, right here. <laughs> that back fender will be more like that once it's attached to the step, but we're not doing that until we get the, the driving uh, the, and get it driving and the other fuel tanks on it. There's a lot going on, but all right. So without me talking, let's, uh, let's see if we can pick this front bumper up with the little 1968 forklift. She grinds a little. She's all right though. All right, so as you can tell, what I told you I was gonna do, I ended up doing differently. I was trying to uh, kind of sneak the grinder in there and shave the top of those frame rails off, but it was uh, just kind of tricky to get in there. So what I decided was, you guys can see, I took the forklift and ran through, I guess between the top of the grill and the bottom of the hood and kind of did a two for one kind of thing because it took pressure off of everything and allowed the bumper to slide back. So now it, everything fits a lot better. It's the hood actually latches and that's exactly what was wrong with this truck was the bumper was too high. So it raised everything in the front nose of the truck up too high. The hood latches, it does good. I understand that it's a uh, however many year old truck. So it's, you know, the gaps aren't gonna be perfect. They're a hundred times better than they was. We got to button up a few more things. We got to weld up the steering column. We got to double check a few things and we're taking this thing on a drive. Yep, but problem is it's getting later in the evening and this thing's headlights are definitely not wired up. Yeah, we gotta weld uh, the front bumper on. Real quick, you can see the, the hood is shut. It's way better. Uh, it Body looks, line looks a lot yeah, better. A lot better. We have a gap here, which I can adjust some of that out yet. Part of it is just... The hood's always been a little wonky just, on it. Yeah, the hood's been through the ringer on this thing. Uh, actually, it's actually shutting now. When we bought the truck, the hood was bent up a little bit. So we sprung it back. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. And these are a, a few of these things are stuff we can address later down the road.
And that goes back to some comment I read where do it right the first time. Yeah, don't it give right yourself so needs... so harsh a deadline. Thing is, if we don't give ourselves a deadline, we'll be seven years on a project. I mean, maybe, not really, but thing is you you have to have deadlines. That's why they give you homework. Do the next day. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like they want you to get it done. So same deal we're here. We're, like I said, we might go back and fine tune something, but for the most part, it is a hundred percent done right. Yeah, and what I was saying is the wiring isn't gonna look amazing and hidden in the truck yet because we're trying to get it done. Oh, I can't open. There we go. I mean, we can tuck it up and everything, but what I mean is when we get back, we can, you know, make sure it looks a little prettier in there and stuff like that. But right now, we're not worried about that. We're worried about it running and driving good. Oh, please. Uh, I think we're getting ready to drive this thing. So we just got, well, pretty much everything we needed done to take it down the road, except for a passenger seat. Um, but that's okay because I'm going to be filming all over. And uh, she said, I'm driving for the first time. I feel like you should drive you for the should first enjoy, time. Is it the fruits of your labor? Is that what it's called? I don't know. But anyway, you're saying you know, enjoy it. Enjoy it for the only time I get to drive it. Yeah. I mean, you've been working extremely hard on it. I feel like it's only fair that you get the first smile and excitement. Well, let's drive. do this. The stupid daylight savings time where we're, uh, it's almost dark. How, you, how are you even going to check the oil in this thing? You can barely. All right, you are. All right. So I guess uh, we're going to go do this thing. Now, how did you do that? <laughs> you have to, hold on, turkey. Here. It's down. Okay. Well, I don't know how he did that, but he just did it. Oh, it got to go in that side, too. It got to go. It does. It got to go. It to go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you got to go. Get your chalk. You're, you ain't got four-wheel drive. You ain't going to be able to wheel over it. Ah, I'm so nervous. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, Let me make sure you ain't got no tools anywhere. I think it's good.
nothing's on fire yes pulling over at the local gas station sounds like we got an air leak or something for sure an air leak at first i thought oh my gosh we're sizzling hot but it's just an air leak yeah i hear an air leak it's, it's in the back for back. sure, yeah. Listen to it as you go back here. It's definitely like right here. There. Oh. Oh, there you go. What'd you do? I just found <laughs> it and I stopped leaking. You just touched it? All right, well, there there it is. It runs. Yeah. It drives. <gasps> Some reason we don't have forward gears, but I think that might just be in the linkage part of it. Uh, I don't know got a little bug but other than that i'll take it yeah we get our forward gears it's got i don't know we just spent a little time with it we'll figure it out is it because we need to cut the floor out more i don't know i think that might be a possibility because it it goes into the back gears fine and it looks like it's just if we cut like a half inch more out of the floor and shove the gear shifter yeah. forward i think it's just that initial push mm -hmm. it won't it, it can't put in the forward gears yet Oh well. I'm excited. You drive or me? You can, you drive. can drive. No, no. Drive. You drive. Is that your seatbelt? <laughs> I was thinking like on a jet ski, you pull that cord and it shuts off for safety. So if you're wondering what this is, this was for the factory air ride seat. I went ahead and left it long in case we ever wanted to put an air ride seat in it. So that's why it's like that and I just capped it. Or we could put a uh, horn on it. Mm. There's a few reasons why I did what I did. The other day I shut it in the door. I'm surprised it. Mm-hmm. Rip it in half. All right, let's go home. Made, okay. We made it to Speedway, so that's that's a huge step. Now if we can make it to Daytona. And now if we can just make it back home. <laughs>
drive it. You excited or you're just nervous? I'm really nervous. At least you're on our road, not the highway. I know. So, I did that. For some reason, it won't shift in the third. We got uh, reverse, first, and fifth. And fifth. It's, yeah, we got all the gears but third, for some reason. Yeah. So it is just the sixth. Okay. It might be. guys we made it we made it to speedway so that's good we should have got a hot dog while we were there yeah we should have but uh the truck made it hannah drove it there's a few little things we need to address it is really windy so we were gonna do our outro out here because it's kind of a really cool backdrop but um we're gonna go in for that and we have a few gifts that you know were sent to us so we're gonna go open those now <laughs> did make it back it did really good i mean for the most part we got a few things we need to figure out but I don't know. I mean, it just, we're, we're going to have to get it done this week. This is my week off. It's going to be nice. So thank you, Lord, for this beautiful, perfect week that I have off. And I'm hoping to get this thing done. Yeah. So kind of the next step is we got to put the bed on it, move the axle forward. But let's go ahead inside and open up what gifts we got. Guys, it is the next morning. As you guys just seen, we drove the truck for the first time. I will take that as a, uh, an accomplishment yeah when because it did good other than there's something up with third gear and we don't know if that's an operator error or a transmission error or a linkage error uh error sorry um but there's a few things we got to address and the air leak i think the air compressor is building too much air and what you're hearing is the blow off valve um release valve pressure valve on the air tank releasing because it's building too much air so there's a few things we got to address but let's hop in this thing and try to figure around. out yeah let's try to figure out third gear and um just see what's up with that it might just be as simple i would say simple as a synchronizer but with that means transmission needs mm -hmm. rebuilt uh what if that's the case we'll just have to cross that bridge later well i will have Corey drive because right now we've got to figure out how to sit the truck more towards me with the gas pedal being where it is and then the clutch and brake being where they are they're like you know this much apart and i have to scoot the seat all the way forward to get the clutch all the way down so when i do that there's absolutely my foot is not like it's in a bind and i can't hardly press the gas so um we're gonna have to figure out something whether i'm gonna have to like tape a block to the clutch i don't know but um we'll have to put some extenders on there or if we don't put extenders on the pedals we'll put extenders on hannah's feet yeah i was gonna say, I <laughs> wear platform shoes <laughs> but, on one side uh we're kind of limited of space in the floor as you guys know and the gas pedal has to go where it goes 
Because that's the only place it can, you know, that's well, the only place it can go. how we know that, you know, we were going to have that problem until we drove it? Yeah, so. it's a trial and error kind of situation. All right, so we've driven it down the road a little bit and cannot get third gear. I mean, you it wants to go, but it keeps grinding. So we think the synchronizer is going out. Yeah, um, so I'm leaning towards the synchronizers are out, but I'm going to go ahead and adjust the clutch linkage to give it a little bit more throw in the pedal and see if that's the problem because in the other truck it seems like we had third gear but also it was kind of contrary in it and we only driven the donor truck a total of 20 miles so and that was three months ago mm -hmm. so we can't really remember so we're going to adjust a few things see if we can fix it here on the side of the road we are on the side of the road right now yeah we picked um, a little gravel road it's beautiful beautiful here Uh oh. Did you want that to happen? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So here is our extender. This is how much I had to extend the clutch rod. I'm just going to simply extend this guy out, and that should get us more throw. So, so far, I've moved it a quarter inch. We'll try a half inch. That'd be right. Yeah, that'd be pull. Wait, we'd want to go. We'd want to go the other way. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Regard what I just said. We gotta go the other way. We gotta go this way. <laughs> that would give it more throw. Otherwise, we're giving it less throw. Yeah. So we need to start back where we was, which is there. So let's go move this jam nut down a quarter inch. Thread that in. It's got a little burr guy on it or something mm. okay so that should give it a quarter inch more through so let's slap this baby back on so this will thread back into another um, coupler nut bolt it back on and we should be able to hit the road all right so we're back home fixing the clutch linkage or um, giving it a little bit more pull definitely did help we do have third gear now uh, it's not 100%, so we're going to adjust a little bit more out of it, but we need to fix the, the air compressor issue. It's building entirely too much air, so we're going to let it kind of lose some air right now on its own and then uh, rebuild the top of the air compressor and um, go from there, but we're making progress, so there's that. It's 6 o'clock. We came in because we thought oh it was... Oh my gosh. I thought it's 9, 10 o'clock. Let's go in, and then Hans said, it's 6 o'clock, huh? I just took my shoes off. I said, well, heck, I'm about half to go. We wouldn't be in bed till about six hours from now. We don't go so, to bed till midnight. We do have another project in the garage that we can be working on. We got some new cool stuff we're getting ready to Coming announce. ahead. Uh, it's not really the right timing, so. And no, I am not pregnant. That's not what we're going to be announcing. I just like to eat, okay? So, um. <laughs> I'm probably going to get criticism for opening this box. Yeah, you are. Um. Is this thing like got a um, thing Message? in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you better find out and cut through it. All right. Here we go. Got some soft goods. Soft? Mike Barker. Turtle coat. I hope that wasn't a letter. Turtle coat. This cat is having heyday. Hey, show the cat. They probably seen the cat. Yeah, you guys want to see. Um, Rustosaurus. Rusty, our little cat that we got. Come here, Rusty. Hey, you're playing with some. Golly. He just moved the camera for you. Here, you better get this because I'm dirty. Come here. Revolution Church. I think I was. When this package. Was this the package we got here recently? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, here. I think. Here is Rusty. And he's so getting... if you guys remember right, this is the cat we found <laughs> on the side of the road and he was in bad shape. His eyes were all matted shut and he had fleas. His and hair was all over. He's, he's wild right now. So he don't crazy like us guy. talking loud. But anyways, here is that little crazy guy and a little restosaurus. Yeah. Here. My hands are dirty. So this is from a... Are they sweatshirts? Oh, that's awesome. 
So anyways, this is from Revolution Church, so thank you. Let me see. That is too cool. That's pretty cool. I have, I have a message in that guy. Okay. Yeah. That's who you were. Yeah. Yeah, so this box, when does this box get here? Oh my gosh, I new shirts. I love these. Yay. Heck yeah. Well, we appreciate that. Thank yes. you so much. So a shirt and sweatshirt. How exciting. Probably just, make sure. probably just a small for you. And I probably didn't get nothing. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Debbie Downer. Nope, that was your shirt then. Yay! This is awesome. Thank you so much, we Mike. Yes. Yeah. Is that Mike? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mike. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. <coughs> Moving on. Nothing. Call. I'm opening it for you, okay. so you can open it. The lead pastor in Georgia. Wow. All right, so this one is from... Hold on. Davis. Davis. Oh, my gosh. In a complaint department. How's <laughs> <laughs> that? Out. What? Yeah. Well, I think it's stuck down. <laughs> How funny is that? To complain, push red button. Now that is funny. Oh, Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. We've been there. Yeah, we love that place. That is too funny. I love this. Put that in the mouse trap. Ah, right, here we go. Let me guess. Hannah. Oh. Oh. Corey and Hannah. What could it be? Who's this one first? Uh, where are you? You know what it says? It's anonymous. Oh, here. Thomas Hutcherson Jr. This is from Corey's MS. Minnesota? <laughs> oh my gosh! It's a broom! Oh, it's a, a dustpan! Dust yes! Oh my gosh! One Look for you me. and one for me! Uh, That's 2001 for. I got a Mississippi one. That's How pretty cool. How cool are these? Oh my gosh! That's pretty that neat. That is really neat. Let's see what we get. These are definitely going to be. Had to put Georgia for Hannah. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Cora and Hannah, we follow you guys on YouTube. Met you in person on Monday at Colorado Road and Pigeon Forge. We called them tags. You always call them license plates. Now they are dust paint. You guys are great. We also like car shows, swap meets, yard sales, flea markets, and cruise, antique stores, etc. Thomas and Sherry Hutcherson. Thank you guys so much. Yes. We really appreciate that it. That is awesome. I love these. That's cool. Hannah's going to want to make me a clean. Yeah, you need to. All right. Two quarter week. Here we go. Look at you, babe. All right. So this one is from John Coleman, New York. Worldwide. Worldwide. Prestige. Uh-huh. Hold on. Alright, see what we got. For you. Ooh. Enjoy these things for years. Hope you will love them watching your weekly adventures. John, love the dogs too. Darn it. Okay, so we have another gift. And I've seen it at um, my work. And it's from Harvey's Hack Shack. And I was really excited about that one. But I left it there. I forgot all about it. So we're going to have to go we'll get that, that one. Next video. Yeah, it'll be the next video. Ooh, what do you think it is? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see first. Oh my gosh! Whoa! That's a couple of money. <laughs> we can buy another farm truck. Yeah! Oh my gosh! I just looked at she one of these at a yesterday. saltine cracker thing, and I fell in love with it. But it was like what thirty dollars, and I thought mm, I don't love it for that much. How cool! Oh, oh there's more. Oh my gosh! Another one of those oil little, little doodad. Yeah. Upper loop super. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. Oh, look at this one here. That's really cool. I'll put that on my new on my new shelf. How cool you is that? You have the glasses in there? Yeah. Are those <laughs> glasses out of the bubble ring? No. Where are those glasses out of? Them are out of that cab over. Out of Frog Daddy. Frog Daddy? Mm -hmm. We can't sell Frog Daddy. No. Yay! So if you guys have seen, I got like Frog Daddy, which is the cab over, and then that Red International. I got that, and I got three things for sale right now, but man, it's like getting rid of a child. I don't even really want to get rid of it. I love saltine crackers anyways. So when I seen that can yesterday, I thought, she it's literally near and dear to my heart. But I, I'm so glad I didn't. How cool is that? Makes me want some crackers and tuna right now. Yeah, tuna. <laughs> I don't think you're weird eating tuna. Okay, well, I'm not the only weirdo that likes tuna. He likes being a sausages, so there's that, you weirdo. <laughs> well, anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for the yes. gifts. Um, like Hannah said, we do have, uh, I guess, another gift. Uh, we try to get a, a couple of these accumulated up before we do them and whatever, but we do appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much. The truck is coming along. Uh, tune in next Wednesday to see what else we get into. For the first test drive, it did good. So I guess we will see you guys next Wednesday 6. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next Wednesday 6. I already said that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys later.